Hmm. It slows down in that spot. Oh no, I didn't do it that time. It does it a second time. Let me slow it down a little bit. Well, maybe it'll be fine. So, I finished with these guys. I put new couplers in this one. Um, so I didn't have enough couplers to do both sides of them, but I mean, they look pretty good. They're, uh, they got some space in between them, so they're, uh, making corners good. So, they ain't too far apart. They're not too far apart. But, uh, I like how it looks now. Now I can run all the, the whole train behind it. All six cars. And I put this guy up front. I think it looks cool like that. And, uh, I want to get this, I will get this guy moving here in a second. I'm going to wait for this train to go by. This guy here with this one in that one corner in the back. You see how this end, that engine there, the, the front overhangs a lot. Comes out a bit. It'll smash into this other one. I learned that one day, so I guess I screwed up when I uh, when I dropped when I put the track down. Uh, let's see, we'll just stop you right there. I mean, you don't you can run them, but you have to when uh, you get to that back corner, you want to like slow down and let the other one pass. Hm. Just the engine, though. You don't need the the cars will pass it just fine, but. I had uh, that happen one time, and uh, this guy was going one way, I was going the other, and they smashed into each other. Uh, and uh, I hit the uh, emergency stop button on this thing, and all it, did, all it did was shut down one engine. The other one was still tearing up the other. So that's why I have these in, in case uh, anything goes wrong. I can flip it down and kill the power to the whole system. But... Um, uh, let's start this guy up. I think he's still can he's still in the controller here. I think if I look. There he is. So end light should be blinking. Uh, it works. So we get this moving. This thing. I also I also adjusted this. Uh, this uh controller and now now it gives you the power reading instead of the clock so that's what this shows uh, takes quite a bit to get this thing rolling it's humming there we go come on you give me trouble now Slowing and stopping on me. 
a little bit. I had to drive her all up, all the way up. <clears throat> And for shits and giggles, we'll see if we can get the other one going, and I'll just uh, try not to crash them into each other. Where's the other one? Oh, yes. Got the wash on doing there. <laughs> Better rub that one up and make that corner. There we are. Should be fine. Not too bad. I flinched there for a minute. I thought they were going to hate each other, but now they're fine. Alright, this is where I get to slow them down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, too close. There we go. We're fine. There we go. But that's the issue with having bigger engines sometimes. Also, doing crappy uh, track work, apparently. <laughs> when I put in these bigger turns on the outside uh, curve, it uh, apparently I didn't. Uh, check things out because I got a lot of space between those two tracks over there, but for whatever reason, you get her down here to get real close to them, to each other. So that was my fuck up, apparently. Mm. Oh, oh shit! That's probably gonna crash. Uh, so I'm surprised that didn't hit it. Mm. Okay. You see how that overhangs like that when it goes around that corner? That was like the biggest engine I had right there until I got that uh, DD40 there. Well, I call it a DD40. It's a something X and something, I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's slow you down before you hit that corner. Uh, yeah, we're good. We go again. Yeah, be careful. All right, you can. It's close. The cars miss each other, so. Yeah. Cool. Oh. No, you stop. I'm watching the trains and I'm paying attention. I'm not paying attention. So I gotta keep. There we go. We can go now. We just gotta get this guy around that one corner there. It should be fine now. Yeah. Let's see if I can reach that corner before. No, it's not gonna make it. Mm. Oh, stop. Okay. Now we're good. <laughs> well, at least it makes it interesting.
Am I boring you guys? I probably am now. This guy up. I don't know if I matched him with the lights burned out on that guy. Well, a few months ago, I don't know what happened at the back lights work. But, uh, you know, I, maybe I gotta take it apart. I don't know. Well, well, we'll keep going. Should be fine. There we go. That was good. <sighs> All right, it's coming up to it past ten minutes, so I'm just gonna kind of stop here right now. I'm just gonna slow it. Uh, come up a little more. All right. That one stopped. We gotta stop the other one. I gotta switch dumpers. There we go. Now we have control of that guy. Well, they're still on. They're still doing good. They haven't derailed yet, so that's good. It looks really nice. I like the how it looks. I'm just gonna stop you. Okay. I'll shut you off. I'll shut your lights on. There we go. And still have some track power because that light over there is on. So. Well, anyway. That's with that. And I have a new... Got this guy for three bucks and I... Put him back together. He was all missing parts and stuff. And I got him to where he's working kind of good. He's uh, not working real well. He's kind of stuttery. So, And this guy, I was running him full speed. And apparently the motor locked up. So uh, I'll have to take that thing apart again. Yeah, well. <clears throat> and putting some of my stuff away. And uh, that's it pretty much it for to this video so uh see you guys later night bye